I dedicate this medal to my parents. They have always supported me, especially during the time when I was injured. So I want to thank my parents and my family. Nozomi Okuhara created history when she became Japan's first single shuttler to take home a medal from the Olympic Games. Okuhara battled hard to defeat teammate Akane Yamaguchi in the quarterfinals, but then succumbed to India's PV Sindhu's speed and power in the semis to set up a bronze medal playoff with Li Xue Rei of China. The Japanese shuttler earned the bronze without a fight after Li pulled out of the clash following a knee injury she picked up in her semi final encounter with eventual champion Carolina Marin. The podium finish was another feather in Japan's cap after their women's doubles pair clinched gold the day before. But for the Nagano born shuttler who had set high expectations in Rio, the 2016 Olympics was a bittersweet experience. My seniors, Takahashi and Matsutomo, had already won the gold, so I wanted to follow suit and win the gold medal too. I had to accept my result, but it was hard for me and I just couldn't feel too happy about it. I felt more disappointed and frustrated than happy. Having been sidelined for almost a year in 2013 due to a serious knee injury, the 2016 Rio Olympics was the last thing on her mind then. The right-hander was more focused on staying injury-free and getting back on top of her game. But Okuhara's comeback was nothing short of extraordinary. Her rise up the world rankings gave her the confidence to pursue the Olympic dream. I started off badly, as I couldn't deliver, and I was expecting more. But last year, I won the Japan Open. I made a breakthrough, and I just got better from there. I stopped thinking about the big race. I tried not to look too far into the future. I knew I needed to focus on the present. So I started to focus on one match at a time, and one tournament at a time. It gradually led me to the Olympics and the bronze medal. Regarded as one of Japan's most promising women singles players before her injury, Okuhara was determined to live up to that status. She swept aside higher-ranked opponents to clinch the 2015 Dubai World Super Series finals crown and went on to grab top honours at the prestigious Yonex All England Open this year. Ranked fifth in the world by the end of the Road to Rio qualification race, the diminutive 21-year-old was ready for the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. We started with basic training and mixed that up with technical training. Once we arrived in Rio, we included movement and strokes in our practice. In the quarterfinals, she played against Yamaguchi. And although Yamaguchi played one of her best games, Okuhara was physically stronger and steadier. So she managed to stage a comeback to win and advance to the semi finals. Unfortunately, her drawn-out match against Yamaguchi took a toll on her. When she faced PV Sindhu in the semi-finals, Okuhara suffered under the barrage of attacks and variation of strokes unleashed by the lanky Indian shuttler. I was sitting at the back watching. Sindhu was in control of the game. She controlled the shuttle very well, hitting it really deep and covering all the sides. Well, that made it very difficult for Okuhara. Although the Japanese shuttler was disappointed, her gold medal dream was cut short and winning bronze was a couple of shades off her medal hopes, it is still, without a doubt, a proud moment for Okuhara and Japan. When I was a junior player, 
my seniors were already playing successfully at the global level. Although China is still dominating the sport, things are changing. When I was younger, my seniors proved that they too could win at the world stage. Nothing was impossible. It gave players of my generation more confidence and showed us that anything is possible once you set your mind to it. So that was a very huge motivation for us. One of the hardest working players on court, Okuhara's fighting spirit, is exceptional. The Japanese shuttler has stepped up her pursuit for excellence and she is already prepping herself for the next installment of the Games. I didn't think I would be ready for Rio after my injury. It was going to be an uphill task for me, so I was originally targeting the Tokyo Olympics. I didn't think much about the 2016 Games, but it turned out I qualified for Rio and I was also able to achieve a medal. Although I'm not satisfied with the result, the experience is a positive step for me to look towards Tokyo 2020. It will be extra special for me as it is on home ground. So I'm now planning and preparing for the Tokyo Olympics. A worthy challenger, now armed with a newfound confidence, Nozomi Okuhara is determined to push the boundaries and create her own history.